You ready for it? The big drink. I'm ready. Y'all ready? We are ready. Yeah, we, right. we on lift off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode. You already know what it is. Yeah. How you know I know you know what it is? Because you clicked on the link to tell you, you what on. it is. Or you just fucked around and found us by accident. But if you did, don't go nowhere, bitch, because we finna get lit. Stay right we there, goddammit. We is the Smoking Permitted Podcast. This is a special session. You know what a special session is. They don't buy telling what a special session is. Special about. session is when we find somebody that is a pillar in the community, the region, the state, somebody that came across our goddamn timeline, our interest, our eyes, and we want to know a little bit more about them. We want to share that with you. So, like I said, stay right there, goddamn, because now we here. I couldn't have said it no better myself. Hey, man, I'm sitting there to the back. What you expect? Y'all tell them who y'all is, where y'all from, what y'all doing. What we do, man? It's your boy, Dre, Day, a.k.a. Dre Make Plays, man. Um, out of Mobile, Alabama, song for song music, man. Mobile? Missouri, what it do? Dirty, it's dirty. Boy, Ryan G, a.k.a. Mr. Exclusive, uh, Studio House. Mobile, Alabama, in the building, Studio House. You see the shirt. Wars. Mr. Oh, really? Me, I man. See the shirt. It ain't a whole lot of places that make me nervous in this country. <laughs> Mobile, Alabama. There's a few streets I've been on by accident <laughs> where I had to pull my pistol and put it on the seat. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I know I shouldn't be here and shouldn't I can't stop here. and ask for directions <laughs> right here. <laughs> you think that's, you think that's an accurate description of, of where y'all from? <laughs> yeah, we get that off. That was part of it. It was part of it. It was very... It, it was it was very prestigious. It was some nice neighborhoods. Oh yeah, but I, I took the wrong. You turned the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, oh shit! Yeah, I told you I did. Wrong. I did that when I was walking in DC. It though, it was like, oh, oh, you was walking. It yeah. was different too. Yeah, Mob Town, man. That's it. That's all I can say. Mobile, yeah. Alabama. Mob well, welcome Town. to Huntsville. Welcome to what we do yeah. at the Smoker Permitted Podcast. For Tell sure. them what to find y'all. They looking for y'all, y'all socials. Man, song for song music. That's the number four in the middle, you feel me? Song for song music. And Dre make plays on Instagram and Facebook. So song for song it music, is. Instagram and Facebook, Dre I'm make reading. plays. It is a song for song Twitter too though. So it's just active, yeah, but that's it. And we gonna have the links in the bio, I mean in the description and everything. Too. Shout out to, to Nettie B for putting us on y'all. Shout out oh, Nettie yeah. B. Shout out Nettie. Shout out. Yeah. Seen Nettie since she shout came out. through. Shout out the whole movement. I ain't sound on the hill. Shout out CC. For sure, for sure. Studio House recording. Studio House Rec, R-E-C. Uh, Ron G Pro. Pretty much on all platforms. Twitter, uh, Facebook. Uh, uh, we got www.studiohouserec.com. As okay, well. then. They get you linked up with everybody that's on the team. Link with Trev. And also shout out uh, Trill, 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 Trill. Yeah, and Lando. So shout out Lando. to you guys. Baby. Congratulations on the baby, Lando. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah congratulations. congratulations. New life the in the world. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Go down for you, Lando. Great. He familiar. He familiar. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. He's the first, okay. Boy. He from the first yeah. time at the rodeo. Sure. Um, yeah, man, definitely appreciate y'all having me. I would appreciate you coming through, man. We appreciate y'all coming through, man. We talked to a lot of people that, that, uh, Tell us they're gonna share their time with us, and then we never see them again. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we appreciate it. Wasn't no way we was gonna be up this high and not come touch the sky, man. You man, know what I'm we appreciate it. Got to end, and you know, smoking for me. Breathe, breathe, Kato, breathe. Put I'm your trying. hands, but <laughs> I'm trying. It ain't working. Oh, how y'all meet? <laughs> Damn, he went. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I mean, we grew up in church together. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, oh that's a different bond. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kato don't know. I, I, I don't know. Kato don't know. Don't worry about it. I told you I used to go to church like four times a week. <laughs> yeah, we grew up in church. Who, church know, who do you know still from church? I had a church free until he snitched on me. See? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying we was real close friends, but he did some other shit. Oh, yeah, we was, we, yeah, I know what it's yeah. like, man. My church friend invited me to his wedding. I just Your picked the wrong one. Yeah, yeah, I just picked the wrong church friend. I had two. One of them died. Oh, see why you got it. I'm just saying. I had church friends. It just didn't work out like their relationship worked out. Oh, man. That's what's up, though. So, so, obviously, being in that environment, y'all, <laughs> y'all had to deal with music. Yeah. You had to learn some song you didn't want to sing. You had, you had a solo you didn't want to do. Well, see, I, I wasn't in the music. He, yeah, yeah, him he and his brother the ran the music. The music like, thing. I'm saying, brother. like, for the church? Teenagers. No, you know, man. <laughs> man, okay. Teenagers, they, you know what I'm saying? They run the music. Hey, all no. the, no, no, it 
Yeah, all the music, it, it was him and his brother, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you was doing in the church? Man, my uncle was the pastor, you know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't just go to my church. Granddaddy was church. A, my granddaddy was a pastor. I Dang. got aunts, cousins. They wanted you to be one too? in the ministry. That's why I talk like I do. That's what they say. So yeah. I just, I ain't against it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying that, but, you know, I, I'm just me. You know what I'm saying? But I, That's all you could be. I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Growing up like that. So I just say I got the best of both worlds, man. Oh, yeah. So for you, what was your introduction to the music? Um... Being bad, I used to freestyle all the time. You, bad. Most you know what I'm saying? Bad. But I but I <coughs> I wasn't trying to be an artist, you feel me? I was yeah. trying to be an athlete. You was and, a sport. Uh I could play any sport, but no, my main man. sport was football and basketball. Basketball more so because I liked it. Football I was better at. Baseball I probably would have been real good at. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, you know, uh just freestyling all the time, man. And Somebody I end up getting connected with introduced me to the music aspect of it, but I ain't want to do no music, bro. Yeah. So who? So the person that introduced you to it had to be influential enough to make you take the time to to actually try more than just freestyling, right? Listening to rap, my cousin Danny, uh, knowing rap, well, knowing rap, my cousin Danny, listening to rap, my older brother. Okay. But. A, a cousin I didn't know was a cousin got me into the business of it. Oh, wow. That made me want to learn the business to educate people. Because my family fucked me over my first time in the music business. Damn. That's, that's how I had most and I was time. Like, I heard that more than and, and I was too. I was fresh to it. I was raw, so I was really a victim because I didn't know. Yeah. It, was, it was my uncle who was like, this your distant cousin. He a big industry person. You know what I'm saying? And that right. facade looked good enough to buy me in to oh, yeah. knowing that, you know, so yeah. To taking so the chances. And, that's know. how it was for me. Right. I want to you know. know how you, <clears throat> it, at 16, turned out being in charge. Yeah, well, I was like, what <laughs> church. Church. your brother had going on? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, well, I've been, I've been in music forever. Uh, I started playing piano like nine. Okay. Uh, well, what was that? I'm sorry. What, what was the household like that you and your brother were in what was what my, were both your parents there? What kind of music it, was playing? What what was that environment like? It 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 was pretty colorful and definitely like a renaissance type thing. Yeah, uh, my dad was an on air personality at two or three radio stations at the same time. Wow, he was also a disc jockey. You know, he'd set up and go play gigs, weddings, you know, parties and stuff like that. This mobile, yeah, yeah. My mom was a, a interior decorator. And uh, ended up, they were also a gift maker. So they ended up owning, uh, uh, my dad worked at radio. She also worked a day job at Dumas Wesley. And then they eventually opened up uh, an art gallery. So, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, Nigga uh, was raised in the arts. Yeah, yeah. Right, so right. it was, it was the music wise, my dad switched genres with every radio station that he worked at. So it was country, blues, rap, jazz. You know that bluegrass, everything. No, you know, not so bluegrass. It, it, yeah, yeah. So it, it was uh, it was definitely a big mixture of what was going on. Like I said, he was also in the framing art, and uh, yeah, my older sister, she's an artist. She paints. My other sister, she was in the choir. So, so you know, it was four of y'all together. It was yes, yeah, four of us all together. Actually, it's five of us actually. But uh, my big oldest brother, he didn't live with us. But it was okay. four of us that was in the household, and my mom and my dad. Uh, I said it, it hard working people. <laughs> I ain't a man. You know, def- def- like def- yeah, yeah, yeah. Def- What's so the uh, age difference in you and your brother? Uh, well, actually, my brother passed. Uh, my brother First passed uh, long, two through two months ago. Damn. Uh, Damn. Sorry for your loss, man. We were fourteen months apart. Wow. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. We fourteen months apart. Uh, my sister, uh, three years and five years. Mm. So we weren't separated by two too much. No, yeah, more, no longer. It's, than a, it's a twin Siamese twin. It's a term. It's a twin term for yeah. siblings that are born within a certain amount of time of each other. Right. It's technically, I think, eleven months. But y'all were close though. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely close. Y'all my were mom, close. My mom it. definitely raises like twins. We yeah. dressed alike and all type of shit until we got to being like teenagers and developing our own. Right, style finding yourself and, yeah. and shit. Yeah. So it was definitely a lot easier for her to go. 
you know, to the stove, see two medium shirts on. Yeah, oh, man. This is what y'all wearing. We good to go, man. So, yeah, 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 man. Definitely. Uh, that was definitely a tough loss. But Facts. at the same time, you know, I know, bruh, they definitely want us to keep pushing and doing stuff like this. So, man. yeah, yeah. It's kind of, we on tour now, for real, for real. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to do what we got to do. Y'all, y'all had home. the same taste in music. You like the same things. That y'all go back and forth. Oh, yeah, I mean, for just music wise, yeah, he definitely we influenced by a whole lot of the same taste. Uh, he love a lot of the stuff, same things that we love. Uh, we were really into, uh, 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 I guess you could say haberdashery type clothes, suits, and all types of. Wait, say that again. Haberdashery. He ain't have no seizure over there. Well, I don't know. Hello, what wait, what wait. Man. <laughs> yeah, so, all right, so. So like I said, we all grew up in the church together. So, you know, right. I mean, yeah, had, hey, look, we, culture shock for like, real. Like, like, my dad was an associate minister of his uncle's church. So oh, yeah. Yeah, my uncle had his own church as well. Wait, but I'm sorry, say the word again. Uh, haberdashery. All right, so Hab- technically, my I've uncle is also a haberdashery. And these are guys like tailors. Yeah. They, you know, they have suit shops, like, and they have more than suits, they got jeans. You know, Damn, saying, man, you know, I heard never the word, but I don't know. I ain't never heard it before. Yeah, yeah. So that was my, my brother was huge into. It's like a doula up. to a midwife. It, it was super huge to dressing up. So you know, okay. what I'm saying our uncle, he had a suit shop. He was a haberdasher, so mm. we were able to get you know, what I'm saying cool custom stuff, and that was just one of his things. I yeah, mean, I always so. growing up. So I like that word. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I like it. But yeah, shit. Yeah. So like, I I got way more like. Suits than I do regular street clothes. Okay, then. Yeah, shit right. like that. Will, will you situation. have a dastry as well? Man, I I got. We grew up where I was just more shirt and tie with some slacks, but when I got older, I got more into the suits and you know, like you know, a complete how to wear the yeah, you know what I'm saying. Understanding like, just really you know, that is not. You know, just because my pants are a little short, they not, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, to to how to wear the accessories. But, you know, I I didn't grow up in it like that. You know what I'm saying? I more grew to understand it myself. Are y'all pocket people? What is the pocket? Pocket square? square. Yeah, pocket square. Yeah, if I got a suit on, pray for me, because something ain't right. (laughs) I'm I'm more probably going to already have one where it's already in there, but. I do like learning how to tie ties, though. Yeah. Everybody don't, yeah. That's, Regular, I like neck ties or bow ties? Either, either. Just because, like, I used to tie, like, the different knots. Like, yeah. I used yeah. to work at Belt, so I used to tie the fancy knots. Like, where I got the small tongue on front of the big tongue. And Shit, man. man. It's it, crazy. It's yeah, enough it's, for me to tie that bitch directly. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way. Right. Just get it done. Right. Tried, last time I tried, it didn't work out. Mm. I don't know if I remember that. <laughs> What's on that iPad over there? Oh, shit, we got some questions over here. Um, oh, sure. We got a few survey questions. We ask all the guests that come through. Right. Um, we're gonna hit y'all with some of them. Some of them kind of strange. Some of them not. We're gonna. What, which one we gonna go first? <laughs> See, some of them strange. Um, all right, like, take this out. We ain't okay. never had two presidents at the same time, but today we do. Today we do. Y'all president of the United States of America for twenty four hours. Whatever you do, whatever you say is like is president. You do the shit and stick there. They can't come tomorrow and undo the shit. You do whatever you want to do, goddamn. You can fly Air Force One till that bitch run out of gas. Anything you want to do in the air. as the president. <laughs> oh, so you can just fly yeah, you could be up there the whole hours. day. What y'all going to do to presidents? <laughs> Joint president. Uh, I'm, I'm going to make it well. Everybody be equal for real, for real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody yeah. got real deal, equal playing for you. Okay, then. Like, you know what, what, like, like everybody got the same amount of money? No, no. The opportunities to okay. be, who, you know what I'm saying, who we freely want to be. I can drive a <laughs> Benz and be my color because I know how to make money like you do. And I know how to invest it and flip it. And you know what I'm saying? No, it's I ain't going like to make, I ain't gonna make life easy for people yeah, like right. that. But my, my, you know, I'm going to be able to get my children 40 acres for real. Yeah, and and then not have been me having to beg for it. It's just because, you know what I'm saying? I can put my kids up. So everybody going to be And able they to. can choose, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you still got to work, got to hustle. Like, I ain't just about to, but as far as if I'm doing business or 
creating a way of life and being able to hand my kids and teach them the game, the mm-hmm. stocks and the buns and the, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I, I just wanted to be fair. That's it. That's your whole. That's your whole day for president. Just, just you making, done? just making equal playing field. All right. One thing. That's all, that's what I'm always that's about. Okay, then. All right. That's gonna take some work, but we gonna get it done. If, if I can be my color and, and live. Like other people like live. free for real. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. The motherfuckers ain't free for real. I can see real. some unity. Too many of us die because we don't understand. Well, yeah. We ain't just dying just because just we just want to kill each it. other. You know what I'm saying? We, we don't just want to kill each other. So, yeah. Make it fair for my people to live fairly too. All right. What you doing? What you doing for your day as president? Uh, with, uh, I mean, first, uh, with me, I'd start off with I guess you would say flipping the tax slope from, you know, riches to the poorest. So everybody um, not the rich people pay uh, more taxes. Uh, yeah, of course. With that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just just I mean, I wouldn't but in a way that it's like, okay, I'm not punishing you for actually, you know, being making, making all this money. money yeah. Making large <coughs> amounts of money. But at the same time, with the extent of the assets that you do have. If y'all are doing it to the poor, y'all should be doing it also to the rich. You know, those stipulations and some of the tax loopholes that have been put in place for rich people. Yeah, I'll take, yeah. yeah. take them out. Yeah, I'll take them out. Them loopholes will do some yeah, shit. I, 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 the, which, you know what I'm saying? I get it because I know when I get rich, I want to do that. But at the same time, it's like. It do be them folks it, that got all that money and don't pay yeah, any yeah, taxes. I, I feel yeah. like everybody should pay the exact and, same and, tax. And like don't if, do that. If motherfucker gonna have to pay 10% of what you make, Everybody pay the same ten percent of yeah. what the fuck they make for real. Yeah, pay the same ten percent. But yeah, you're right. Them rich motherfuckers fuck around, don't pay no taxes. Man. Oh. Nah, bitch, I'm a church. Them companies, <laughs> what them companies be? Well, be we a nonprofit. Uh, <clears throat> I would uh, 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 make uh, definitely executive order to make Bitcoin a legal tender and not tax anybody on any crypto gains before that executive order. Okay, then. That work right there. I like that right there. I got Def- that. Definitely would do that. I like right that. There. No tax on Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, all mean, digital currency. I mean, just yeah. just up until the point I signed the order. Now after that, once we get everything in order, then now we pay tax. Tax person. Yeah, you just like a regular. Time, if you, oh, was, you know, if you was oh, in, because shit. I mean, you got to put some type of I don't like this infrastructure. Yeah, you got to put some type <laughs> of infrastructure in order for you know what I'm saying big money to get involved, like institutional money. Ain't gonna get involved without governmental control rules and boundaries and stuff yeah. like that. And now you, you know the government, saying? so you and control now, it. And now I'm the government, <laughs> yeah. so hey, we can got them. Yeah, Don't I'm gonna govern prove, it accordingly. I'm hey, approving man. everybody's Bitcoin ETFs automatically that day as well. Because I mean, that's just that that's money we need. I'm building a whole section of the government. If y'all so were I offered need, reparations, would you take it in Bitcoin or in physical? Bitcoin. Yeah, I was about to say, sure, y'all taking the digital currency. He, he didn't talk me too much about the understanding of it. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Sure. Like, I would definitely take it in Bitcoin. I all right. Got, uh, we gonna have him come back yeah. and teach y'all about Bitcoin. Yeah. Look, this, mind. look, this okay. the guru, man. Like, I ain't too proud to tell people this. My mentor. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, whether we just in the same age bracket, nothing like, bro, Jim. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. What he do and what he put into what he believe in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he going to bat for everybody's understanding. You know what I'm saying? This man resume is something he'll never speak on himself. You know what I'm saying? Like he just show it with his leadership and what he exemplified. You know what I'm saying? That's I already. Up. Hell yeah. That's we definitely up. want you to come back and tell so us yeah, about big Oh, yeah, yeah. We definitely Some money be management and shit. Oh, yeah. We're going to be So look, that's why back. church got us here. You know what I'm saying? Okay, he done been yeah. the same person since then. Yeah. 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 Oh, For sure. Oh. Crazy. Exactly. You know, niggas well, don't know nothing about no money management. Oh, no. Nah. And nice. it's simply because of the fact that, you know, I ain't been a pr- man, that executive order definitely inject money, credit, investments at the middle school level into yeah. mathematics. Yeah, teach the shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Check writing, balancing book sheets. I remember they showed us what, how to write a check, like you know one, for one day. One day, yeah. No, like for one day, know, and then that was yeah. Matter of fact, was it. it was in a little book. That had little stuff to do as a you know adult. Yeah, what adults would do. So that needs to be in the curriculum early. Yeah, yeah and you probably get showed it issue. one time. It's important yeah. to saving money and stuff like that. Digital currency, all that. That need to definitely be in curriculums early. Credit, yeah. 
you know what I'm saying? Building it. CPA, CAEs. Got to uh, teach them about the fake money. Scores, well, all the money's fake. Like but. All the and, money's and look, fake. and why not when kids can be a, a, a internet sensation at five years old? Yep. Yep. Millions and billions of dollars. An internet sensation. Yeah. That, that little boy was making $25 million a year, a year. reviewing toys. Opening toys. Yeah. Just playing. So why why wouldn't he need to know that? You yeah, get what yeah. I'm saying? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. She. His parents Y'all had a heavy presidency. That was real. the deepest presidency. Yeah, that was the, yeah, that was the serious, <laughs> most serious one. Most motherfuckers like, yeah, I'm going to make weed legal. Yeah, I was going straight yeah, to that still. Get back guns. <laughs> going straight to legal oh, weed man. still. Okay, Damn. Right. Got to reevaluate my life. These niggas to change the world. <laughs> See, look, <laughs> it, it's fun going to travel with weed legal ass, so I ain't tripping about you're that. Right, you know? right. why, why change some shit they already working on? <laughs> Speaking of travel, we got a time machine. You go back in time, you go forward in time, you take three people with you. Where you going in time? Where I'm going? Where you going? As taking, uh, uh, oh yeah, well my my say I definitely go backwards. Back, we, yeah. when you going? Oh, uh, dog, dog, ninety seven. Nah, you then should be here or hell. Ninety seven, actually, and taking people with me. I mean, you ain't I got to. You yeah, go, you go by anyway. yourself if you want to. Yeah, I mean the people that go back with me. I mean, they kind of be there anyway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. 97 right. and, you know, I, the people that I want to go to. What's there, going on? What's in 1997? Bitcoin was created in that. Oh, shit. All right. <laughs> yeah. With everything on Bitcoin. Right, right there. Like, I mean, to be able to, con- you know what I'm saying, convince more people. I mean, because we, we. To get in out the gate. People. Fuck yeah. that. Yeah. Hey, Fuck yeah. all y'all. Yeah. I get there when it started. Oh, man. Wait, wait. Shit. So, man. Oh, I'd hey. own the fucking state. Okay. Yeah. Two, three yeah. states by now, goddamn. I was trying to like, this nigga said 1997. Yeah. I was 97. thinking like, Reasonable Doubt came out in 96. How old was I in 97? I don't I was trying to think what was going on. I had to go back. Go back. I didn't know about the Bitcoin. That's, yeah. 97. I definitely ain't knowing 97. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. $11, 10,000 Bitcoin. Who you think, right. who you think would have been the $11. hardest to convince about Bitcoin in 97? You would have you would have went to somebody first to been like who you think would have been the most difficult? My granddad. Oh yeah, I could see that. How yeah, old, how old was he? This is the current. You had you had like a real granddad, like yeah. an old granddad. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Got them, yeah, we don't got none of them no more. Yeah, for sure. Real granddad. Everything just like being the same person. Go to the same McDonald's, drink the same cup of coffee. Yeah, oh, my great grandmama. Oh, gotcha. yeah, this nigga ain't buying no yeah. digital. Chaya, yeah, he ain't getting no digital. Digital right. what? <laughs> you know, you don't mind it. Watch out, little bitch. Telling me I can't never touch it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you can't even see it. <laughs> Where you go? Probably 2006. All right, bitch. Ooh. 2006. What was in 2006? Uh, that's, that's really when... <clears throat> I was pushing so hard to be something that I wasn't. Okay, then. So if I'm taking what I know now, I'm I'm strictly going into entertainment when I leave high school. Yeah, oh, man. Because if people really know me and my personality, like, <laughs> you know, I just don't do it now because I, I want a more professional edge yeah. just yeah. because I want to educate. That's all I'm about for real. I don't want to be in the spotlight. You know, I'm a host yeah. now, but... N- you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? That's another reason I do that. <clears throat> Rest in peace, my dog Slate. But, you know, I would have gotten the entertainment early because I'm a fool. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah. You know, and I want to be in acting. I would, So I wouldn't have been so heavy on sports. Hell, hell. I would have went strictly into entertainment, learning the business of it then. Like, hey, bro, go learn the business because this thing called the internet that you already own, like, Start recording your videos, bro. Dang. And putting them on your Facebook that you already got, your MySpace. Like, yeah. you know, Twitter. Like, that stuff was out and it wasn't the thing in 06. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. I was, I wouldn't First even post my I clips did. like that. You were posting them on YouTube. I would tell myself, hey, bro, go be more active on that YouTube. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Go, like, 
go do that. And like, he going to be my boy. So if he in 97 with the big car, <laughs> I'm the, com- I'm the entertainer. <laughs> When 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 they finally start hitting together, it's like, oh, Dre, Would hey, you Dre, have, you famous. Put the big corner up. We have, over. It's over. Uh, I guess uh, people that are in school, athletes, whatever they doing, younger people, kids, teenagers, they have the option of yeah, doing that and playing the sport. Oh, would you man. think you would have done both if you had the option, or you think you still would have told yourself man, you it would, would tell have yourself been to focus hard on for one? me because in two thousand six. I would have been going to jail if that stuff was on camera. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's I ain't the, saying I was just yeah, reckless like that. It's just I'm like that. It I'm, is. It wasn't smoking, no camera. That's I'm why I was smoking did weed when people went. <laughs> it still wasn't cool to smoke weed in 06. Right. <clears throat> like my whole class used to talk about me because I was one of the dudes that smoked weed. Oh, yeah. And I was an athlete. Bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm the only one on the basketball team smoking weed. I'm the oldest dude. You know what I'm saying? I done snuck weed on trips and stuff. Like, <laughs> I'm getting in trouble three years later. I'm out of school, coach. <laughs> Boy, you took some weed. It, it, like, you didn't catch me, bro. We were good. Right, right, Ain't nobody right, getting in trouble. Right. You know what I'm saying? Got a punch for three I, years I knew ago. what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? But like, it just, <laughs> like I said, bro, you know, some of this stuff, people reckless. My mindset wasn't to be reckless then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, it wasn't just people recording me every day. Right. But as far as just being funny naturally and just, it ain't an act for me. Like I say, it ain't an act for me to be funny. Like, it just wasn't people recording me. But if so, like, yeah, I would have, my younger years of being funny, I would have, I would have, yeah. Yeah. Drew skin them would have had to really come with it. <laughs> Had some competition, guys. For sure, yeah, for sure. So right now, um, y'all kind of have a joint venture going on, right? Yeah. Yeah. Tell, tell us how y'all started the showcase. Song for Song really just started um, as a way for me to kind of bridge gaps <clears throat> and do what I did as a manager and consultant in a, in an area that didn't know what that was. You know what I'm saying? So people weren't booking me for consultations. So it was like, I, I know all the heavy hitters in the city. Like, I know Ron G, you know, when yeah. people can't get a session with Ron G, I could get you a session with Ron G if they don't know Ron G already, you know what I'm saying? The other people I'm connected to. So it was like, all right, let me do something that the artists like to do. The artists in Mobile love to perform. Like, it was so many open mics before I started my event. Like, every time, I like, you know, just open mic anywhere they could go perform. Yeah. But the one thing, they just wasn't getting nothing out of it, in my perspective, as of growth. Either yeah. they weren't taking it or it wasn't being given properly to where they could understand, right? So I created Song for Song as a way for me to just kind of get people to know who I was, right? get people to know what I did, and then bridge the gap so our city could be a community. It was never about Dre being somebody. It's about, hey, y'all, like, we can do it, you know what I'm saying, collectively. If you meet this person you never met and that piece person meet you, you don't know who can record your sound. You mad right. at that engineer, but he go five more. And there go 20 videographers. And there go a radio and a podcast. And there go news and there go media. Yeah. And there go this and that. And we all in one room. Now what's your excuse? You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, you know, it... it it picked up, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, me and G just, I just always just ran all my ideas through him and, and my homegirl, Bambi. She got Inspire You on our radio. She started her own radio station. Um, Shout out, Bam. I was like, hey, man, like, y'all, this, I think this thing can be good, bro. And yeah. if y'all attached, you know what I'm saying? That's the icing on the cake. So the very first one, he was a judge. She was a judge. Or our other partners was a judge. And, How many and people showed up the first time? We probably had like 150. Jeez. No heavy, no heavy promotion. And we had like seven genres. Seven, no, eight man. genres. Wow. Uh we got a guy named Levon, Levon Gray. He wrote one Mississippi for Kane Brown. He live in Nashville right now. He was in our first one. Guy named Sam Bet, uh, who his one of his engineers and he recorded. That was an artist. He won it. White guy. Uh we had this rock band called Sloth Racer. This this heavy rock rap artist, X Habit. 
um, this boy and, and girl duet. We had this girl named Angel Heart did like dark folk, like something, man. It, I don't man, know. I ain't bro. never heard no emo. I don't folk. even know why these okay. folks. I don't even know where these folks came from, bro. I just yeah. made the post and was like, I ain't never did no event before. You know what I'm saying? Man. Song for song, here you go. We had like 30 artists submit. You know, those are the ones that made it to the top, and you know, we had one win and. Hit the wrong, hit the uh, ground. Yeah, right. yeah. Dang, yeah, that's, that's fine. What's up right there? What do you What do you see in the showcase? So when he came to you with it, what was your thought about it, or your uh, expectations I, from it? More or less, the the setup from it. Uh, it wasn't just a one day thing. Uh, the the actual from the point of allowing entries to doing the selection process to the different events that he had during the week for the artists that got selected well during the month that the artists got selected leading up to the actual show Damn. uh that's what really was stood out to me that idea part so uh that was the biggest thing and then you know at the end that made the show even better because a lot of artists had more of an understanding of what would what they needed to bring to the table with the show and you more invested when you over over this period of time leading up to this right 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 yeah, yeah. leading up to situation that, to now is, that, you yeah. know it's song for song 10 yeah, yeah. song yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, 10. yeah. 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 we did 10. 10. and our very first show we did it in 30 days hey, so you was like to from, from this yeah. in 30 days so well not the idea so the I, the idea was a little plotted you see what i'm saying okay, the yeah. idea was baited to kind of promote an artist but i just turned it into to some from a post that was made but the idea was plotted because I, I wanted to do event because, like I said, nobody went rocking with me just because I said I could manage artists and teach you about the, the business. Mm -hmm. Them folks were like, bro, bro, I rap, people know me. I'm finna go viral or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I got money, bro. You ain't nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know nothing. So, yeah. But the first show was 30 days. But, you know, after that, it then spun the producer wars. You know what I'm saying? He, he had his idea to do the producer war. So that's where the joint venture comes in. So he does a thing for producers as, as well. So, like, he could tell y'all more about Thanks that aspect about the of it. Producer yeah, Wars. Yeah. So, uh, Producer Wars, I guess you can say, is a, uh, uh, well, I started as a conglomerate, um, as a, just a group of producers that actually did events and kind of meetups and, and stuff. And then y'all like got to beefing. Yeah, but nah, 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 it was cool, nah, it's still, it's still, we still rocking, so what it is, is, like I said, you know, uh, about, uh, like, rap battles, DJ battles, yeah. shit like oh, that, yeah. you know what I'm saying, cats come together, battle each other with lyrics or music, well, in this case, you know what I'm saying, being a producer, you come and battle with beats, so, uh, I, I, I was in school for Atlanta for a while for audio engineering, and I used to get in a beat battle myself. They had we used to have them all the time up there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Won a few of them, lost a lot of them. Yeah. But <laughs> you know, I mean, met a lot of dope producers and got a chance to see where I was compared to a lot of yeah. dope right. producers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was what it was. So uh came back down to Mobile and they did have one. A guy uh shouts out to Kalinsky as uh, mm -hmm. uh Alabama Hip Hop Week, uh back in the gap. This was seven, eight, nine years ago. They had to end up having a beat battle. And that was like the last time they had it. But uh, then we uh, popped up again. Uh, big shots out to Seth, Third Eye, mm -hmm. down at Mew, uh, Soul Kitchen. Rest in peace Rest him. Peace, sir, they brought bro. him back up for a second. And I ended up winning a couple of them. And then it died down again because like I said he passed away. So by what? Uh, eight months ago, I think. Because we don't produce. Yeah, yeah. About eight four, months ago, right? we thought about it. I did you know where well, you thought it was before that, remember? Well, yeah, it might be. You, you yeah, hit me probably about probably last probably year and you were like, hey, bro, some other shit. I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something yeah. like, yeah, you like, yeah. I'm going to do hey. something like, I think like it may that, have been bro. Because he told me, he was like, bro, I like that idea. I want you to work on some of me for producers. And then something happened and we didn't get to it. But then he he was like, hey, bro, I got it. You know what I'm saying? You want to host them? I was like, yeah, what to do? And it, you know. But, Back to the revision. Yeah. So when he yeah, first yeah. said producer something about it, it literally was probably about a 
about a year ago for real. When he said yeah, so right. initially. Yeah. When he do mm-hmm. some shit in Huntsville, it's so, a bunch of producers in this ball. Oh yeah, yeah. So I definitely want to bring it to it. Yeah. It's just right. a battle style thing. We started with uh, I think we had fourteen producers sign up for the first one. Mm-hmm. Oh, I pulled some extra strings and got some judges down here that can really bring some weight Mail. to what was going Mail. on. Oh, uh, we set up at Dolphin Street Sound Night nice Studio. We got in downtown Mobile. Oh, uh, so it, it was not nice, two man. Hey, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, Shout out to two, two Faze and Kiva. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, no, uh, Matt Tastic and Al Gino that popped out for the first one sure. just to make it bigger than what it was. So we definitely had a lot of good links in the building. Yeah, like I said, sure. we battled it out uh, from 12 producers down to the winner. Yeah, uh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. What do y'all, um, what do winners in these situations, what are they getting? What's uh, happening? So with uh, with the producer awards thing, we uh gave them uh, like a combination of things. We did a, a branding package with uh, Inspire You Radio for three months. Uh, did a cash prize of uh, I think of whatever the producers that actually got into it. Half of that money went back to the winning producer. Mm-hmm. Uh, we gave them like a production session at the studio and a two hundred fifty dollar gift card from Guitar Center. Hey. Yeah, yeah, and then right. just put them in that room with, uh, like I said, the judge, the, yeah, for the sure. judges that we had, well. or the judges that I tried to get. The first one was crazy, or like I said, with Matt Tastic, who was Lil Baby's engineer. Yeah. Yeah. He was there, Al Gino, who make all the no cap and Rollo stuff. Blue, he was there. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, just to have that networking right. experience, yeah. to be able to do stuff like that. For sure. Yeah. yeah. 25 yeah, that's bucks kind of stretched a long way. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We ain't get, I ain't got no prizes. You don't get shit. All right, so I'm just playing. Uh, but no, nah, man, I mean, like you were saying, we, you know, the the rooms, you know, we, our judges and the people we going to give you access to, bro, like, yeah. First, that's the first thing. Like, and, and that ain't even, like I said, it ain't a bragging thing. It's like, we been now putting in work and been blessed. Damn, you, you know what I'm saying? You here, you got, <laughs> no, I'm just you saying. Show up, we, show up. We been working and been blessed to have hands on with these people. That's all. That's all it's yeah. about, bro. No, that's fine. And we try to get people to see, like, hey, bro, I can't make this person like you, but you have the opportunity to build a relationship in business with them. Get your personals out of it. Get the groupingness out of it. This is what yeah. you're trying to do for your career. You don't got to rap, do poetry, nothing. So if you're going to do it, you got to understand the kinks of it. So, hey, you in the room. It's your music selling. I can only make the introduction. You got yeah. to put the work in with the person. Nice. If they studio time that, I can't get you a discount. You talk to them. I ain't going to record. You know right. what I'm saying? So but that's it's, why y'all found a way to <clears throat> to become that median for because, because of how y'all grew up and how y'all ended up with all these relationships that you have, you're able to do stuff for people that other people can't do. Right. That just is what it is. Other people so, don't do. That too. There's a yeah. lot of people that probably could do stuff that they don't. Oh, yeah. shit. So you're definitely doing stuff that people won't do. And and it's fire that you found a way for for a bunch of creators to feel like they have a chance or feel like somebody got them looking out for them. Sure. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, they got to know. They don't know. But they got to know at some point, they got to learn, goddamn, yeah, nah, he ain't finna give you a discount, bro. <laughs> That's and, not why I brought yeah, you and, here. And like, and like <laughs> I said, it ain't, it ain't just that aspect. We we just, like I said, we just really want people to understand, like, people's time is is not, everybody's time is somebody else's time. Mm-hmm. You know, when you talking business, everybody's time is somebody else's time. Mm-hmm. If y'all a podcast, y'all on the people that y'all got booked at that time, time. So if somebody need to be in and out, they got to be on the time because we on that other person's time. Damn. You yep. get what I'm saying? Yep. So we just trying to be, if I'm going to facilitate and throw you this pass, bro, I took time to get you a good pass, just make the layup. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. If you wide open, I gave you that pass, just make the layup. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Don't get up there because you ain't took time practicing your layup. Yeah, you should be You're missing your the layup. layup. And don't turn around mad at me because you missed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> make your, yeah. <laughs> make your so, shot. Because, because it's there. Like I said, I, I always give my people they flowers because that's who I learn from. So yeah. as much song as Dre and song for song get, I throw the loop like, bro, these folk, y'all got to respect them first before you respect me because yeah. I respect them. Damn. So if I send you to them, for time or whatever the case may be, 
respect that. Yeah, me doing that because me. I was. Why would you? you know why saying? would you do something that's gonna make me look wild? And you represent you first, cause they gonna rock with me. Right. They just right. gonna tell me not right. to send you no more. Right. Like I ain't Dre, one, and then look, <laughs> the second I ain't Dre, I ain't nobody going. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. That's the second one. Nah, ain't nobody going. You know Fuck what I'm saying? Up for everybody. Nah, nah, that, that's out. it. Check this out. So it's dinner time. Oh shit! You um, you can have. We having a special dinner. You can invite three people to this dinner. Anybody you want. They could be made up people, imaginary, oh, fictional characters. You can be, um, what we doing? Oh, shit. All right. We having a dinner, special dinner. You can invite three people. I guess we're going to do one apiece, and then y'all got to agree on the other. Oh, hell. Um, fictional people. It could be people that passed on. It could be made up. It could be real people. Whoever you want to be at this dinner table, we have a dinner. dinner three time. people. That are coming to dinner. Who y'all inviting to dinner? Or three guests. It I shouldn't be, say people. It ain't, it three could guests. Be Scrooge McDuck. Because it could Scrooge be, yeah. Bell, and he can bring two of his nephews. Yeah. You want Sandy? You want to ask her what her, her and SpongeBob did? They here. They there. It's like, tears under these. They, <laughs> they funny, dog. Hey, any, any I want to come back just to do a funny one. Y'all funny for real. Yeah, you got to come back to do right. a regular show. Hey, we always yeah, yeah, funny. Regular, uh, episode. regular show. Okay. I'm going to invite my four-year-old daughter. Okay, hey. then. All right. Hey, I don't, man, golly. She just is an entertainer, dog. <laughs> and I just really want whoever else going to be there to see her. Yeah. That's what's up. That's fine. Yeah. What's her name? <laughs> her name Riley, man. Riley. Shout out Riley. That's Daddy love up. y'all. Shout, Shout out Riley. Shout out Riley. Riley. Riley coming to dinner. Got Riley, Delaney, Riley. Delaney, One of y'all seats just got yeah. took. I couldn't bring my son because, boy, he going to tie it up. <laughs> Big guy going to tie it up. Who you inviting? Who you bringing to dinner? That's only two. No. Huh? That's only two. I thought both of us do one yeah, and then we do oh, one okay. together. And then they agree on yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. Somebody to dinner? Oh yeah, anybody, anything. <laughs> could be pre- predator, you want to meet predator? It could be predator. <laughs> I'm not bringing predator. Anybody Talking to Mike. Oh, in the mic. In the mic. Oh, did I probably be my mom? Probably. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we it's family Riley right now. Yeah. It's family. Yeah. Hey, now y'all got to agree on the guest. That'd be my mom. Anybody oh. now? It, can it be can't be anybody the now because it's just family there. You can't just bring anybody with what mom, that? with moms oh, yeah, and the daughter there. Absolutely. We got to agree on a person. <laughs> yeah. Now y'all got to agree on the person. President definitely can't come. President can't be behave. <laughs> He's straight. Like, he ain't no predator to nobody who, while we hey, in Delta. Who, All who, he do is predator. Who could we bring that's going to help us make the most money? Who coming? I don't if know. If we got, that's a good question. Them dudes from Earn Your Leisure seem really serious about making money. Like they, no, every on. time I see, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, they, I, every time I see them, y'all know what I'm talking about. Earn Your Leisure. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah okay. Yeah, them yeah, niggas. Yeah. I'm yeah, like, yeah. they just be so serious. They, they dead ass serious. I don't know. I don't know who you who you would bring. I be going for, to buy about books and shit. Money. Like nigga, I'm finna see what they talking who, about. Who right, would you want to bring? Like what? What direction would you go there? We're going to dinner. Just is the dinner. basis of the dinner just going to eat? Just yeah, yeah, like a normal just have dinner? A like you just and shit at the table. Eating yeah. and have just family dinner? I always forget his name, man. What's the boy that bought, uh, they got the uh, stay, TV station? Oh, uh, God dang it. Wait. Oh, I forget his name. No, I forget his name. Tyler Perry? No, I, know, uh, I know I can't think of his name either. I always either. forget uh, his name, but him, bro. The BT name? No, uh, nah, he ain't BT. Mm-hmm. No, no. Uh, no which station? What station? Uh, what network? I forgot his name, so I couldn't even invite him because I forgot. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. right. Well, can't even send him no yeah, that gonna look bad, yeah. Because the only way I I know you talking about is because I saw an interview where somebody was talking about him. Yeah. So I definitely yeah. I didn't even see the dude. So yeah. I. But yeah, it'd be it'd be him. I okay. just don't know his name. But Kay. he'd be a great person to invite. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, y'all be right now. Sometimes it happened like that. Sometimes in this time it happened. Oh, Spider Man wasn't. No, y'all write those questions. How I, I was gonna say what will be your last meal, but now I feel like I know <laughs> what's gonna be the last meal for real. Now oh, that yeah. I think about it, sure. so I guess we don't even gotta worry about that question. Hey, you took the cheese off, huh? I took the That's cheese right. off. Yeah. I, hey, we, y'all, it's y'all, still here. Go now. ahead. At, um, y'all got a favorite cheese? Gouda. Gouda. Okay, then. <laughs> this nigga looked at me weird. Love like, cheese, nigga. We just eat cheese. No, I, yeah, I, 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 I got asthma, so I sometimes got to stay away from the cheese. So. What? Explain to I've me never, this. Yeah, I've never heard that correlation. Well, it, it just the build mucus. the congestion. Yeah, that's yeah, how it is. That's how it is. Certain no stuff, it is certain stuff I just got to watch my intake. So mucus. I don't have a focus. Okay. Of, I don't have a focus of, you know what I'm saying, like, I ain't no big eater like that. I'm, yeah. I'm the worst eater to ask what we going to eat ever. I don't yeah, know. It don't matter. Yeah. 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 Don't ask me. Food, yeah, I don't care. Yeah, I ain't. I ain't I'll ain't find something now like there. It'll be all right. Yeah. You yeah. eat like just Gouda? Like you'll just eat some Gouda? Like, t- no, 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 no. I wouldn't just eat Gouda. But I will, though. Hey, yeah. Just <laughs> well, just saying, if you're eating it in fall, you pick it up and eat it. Yeah, so that's still yeah, eating yeah. it. I guess. I guess that's true. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I do. I, I do be, that. I be, I be, I be, they be looking at me crazy, goddamn. I got an aunt that eats some like olives it. and some cheese. Yeah. Nah, no, 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 so no, look, no, being a food is a good. real I like thing. It. I learned to not judge people by no fetishes or nothing. People like, bro, everybody different got their thing. So yeah. it's real. It's real foodies out here, bro. <laughs> people move to L.A. just to eat. Yeah. Hell. Yeah. Yeah. New Orleans is better. I don't know. I, I'm judging. I'm judging people. I cannot do it. I try in my mind. I tell myself, like, I'm not going to be so judgmental. But then I judge someone. It, it's happening. I judge people that listen to people eat. So I'm definitely going to judge what That's you're weird, eating. That's weird, though. That's weird. But some people love it. And it is like, you like listening to rain. You like listening to chewing. I want to hear you. Like, I can understand. Yeah. If I can hear oh, you, you eat, see that? Bro. The ASMR. That, that's how them people go viral. Or they just like yeah. listening to stuff getting crunched or oh, something. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Hey, boy, that, them shit. folk getting paid, Man, boy. Money, money, money. So, so I understand. You, that's what you want to hear, but I just. Speaking of money, oh. money. Uh-oh. You can be the richest person in the world. <laughs> or you can have two superpowers. <laughs> I ain't but you gonna can't care. go get no money with the superpowers. I'm playing. I think I ain't getting money with my superpowers. Get, get, I mean, get, like, look. you can't just go rob banks and shit like that. Like, Seriously. you can go join the circus if you want or whatever. Just get, give me the, hey. Steal money because you got superpowers. Get, give me the superpower. You can't go steal So you got to choose one. Because everybody going to be like, yeah, no, nah, just give me the superpower and I'm going to go take the money. I'm going to steal a money machine. No, nah, I'm See, not going to. You can't go take the money because you got the super. You got to choose one. Nah, one gonna... of my superpowers going to help me be able to get some money. See? I ain't gonna... No, 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 no. Listen, yeah, you said man. I can't take the money. Yeah, you, you didn't say I couldn't money. make the money. You can make the money. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, so that's yeah. that's all yeah. I need. Give me two superpowers. Yeah. Give me two superpowers. See, no, you, no, see, because <laughs> all I need is all I need is the knowledge. <laughs> yeah, I just need to see the future. What's yeah, that's it. That's, see the future. I can see the future. What else? I don't you even need the second one. Yeah, you don't want the second. I don't even need the second. <laughs> see the past too. Fuck. I just need the second. I I want to see the future. No. And I mean, maybe I don't know. Goddamn, turn. What goddamn? But you say we can't use it to steal money though. Just I mean, could you have like the Midas touch type shit? Could you I just turn, turn shit to go gold now? Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. I mean, that'd be super. But fine. you can't control it. Fuck it. There you go. You you turn Damn. everything to gold, but you can't control it. So everything you touch ever turns to gold. Why you rolling this superpower? Because that's how it's supposed to go. That's just if it, it was the Midas touch. Yeah, the Midas touch. <laughs> now everything okay, so, you touch turns to so, gold. So no I gloves, would, no none of this shit. I I I would. Have probably the ability to poof like Nightcrawler, like poof. any anywhere I see, I could yeah. go there. Oh, that would be one. Oh, like anywhere I could see, yeah, anywhere I could yes. and visualize, I could go there as in as the instant. There, you yeah, gotta go to sleep for two hours. See, so you add <laughs> on to the. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you get there, you, cause you tired now. So I just, I just need to, I need to schedule my hotel there before I go. <laughs> you can only poof home. So I'm just gonna make sure. You can only poof back to the crib. 
No, don't gotta, worry about it. So every poke. time I go, I'm just gonna I'm gonna travel the world first. I'm gonna spend one year traveling the world. Yeah, you just gotta reserve a yeah. room before you get there. Everywhere I go, I'm, the yeah. first thing I'm doing is reserving rooms yeah. in every country. But you can't just poof. Make sure I go look on that balcony too. You can't just poof in the middle of a situation, guys. <laughs> no, see, you add too Why much on, man. You, see, you just you you hating off the power now. You want to no, diminish the power <laughs> now. You want to put stipulation. What's your too, second superpower? It can't um, be too easy. I, 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 I probably have to have. I probably have to have that press, uh, Professor Xavier brain, man. Okay, he, just here because you gonna have a, a cerebro, 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 he, he, whatever. That well, he just called. used that to control the the to amplify his power. The mutants, though, but it was for the mutants. It was uh, he to, talk to humans too. Long. No, I know he could, but naturally he could do that anyway, though. Yeah, what cerebro was just created for that, you oh, know, for the mutants to connect to all the mutants. That's why he had so much power because that. I could instantly find out of them without having to style so the world him. myself. But his brain power was just, you know what I'm saying? But why? And I then just, his person. That's like his own so. little fucked up thing, though. Like, the more brain power you got, you can't walk now. <laughs> no, that wasn't true with him. It wasn't. I thought shit. I don't. I ain't keep. I thought this what happened. Hey, you bro. just want to tell me, dog. God, that just made me man. Like, super man, dog. That just just made me super man. He can control all this power. shit with his, with his brain, except his legs. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> they can just like wheel the bitches to work. Yeah, do all it. I look. I. It's they crazy. get mad at you. They gonna get mad at you, Kato. They no, got mad at me when I said. No, no, that, <laughs> look, the people out there in the internet be mad. I mean, but that don't make sense, though. I agree. That don't make sense. I agree. But he didn't control. have them kind of powers. I ain't never seen him. I seen he him make, make people stop. Move. I ain't never see him make stuff move and do all that. Though. Okay, then. All right. He just no. He did his wheelchair. He moves it. With his brain. Yes, yes, but he ain't. <laughs> y'all know what I'm saying. He ain't never made nobody stop and turn around and walk, did I ain't never seen him. Because he wouldn't before. misuse his powers. He could, though. He made his wheelchair is powered by his brain. That's and why he legs got, no got something to do. So he, he, just, he, just he would have had to be thinking about walking all day. <laughs> we had to do <laughs> that now. Hey, man, y'all, hey, look, I'm focus, sorry. People that I'll really is fans, it's I'll, their fault. You hear me? Focus, y'all don't get on to me about superheroes. I don't understand it. So why y'all gonna put me in a position to not understand that man right, controlling his body? Us. What's going on? If y'all, yeah, if y'all could tell me, put it in the comments, bro, because I want to learn. Because I, I don't study it every day. All my power. Like, nigga, I apologize. Nah. I know some of y'all watch it every day. So. Fuck storm. I'm finna walk. I know man. how these folks feel about that hero. Dog. Y'all play it. These folks for real. Matter of fact, I'm out. I'm finna go. <laughs> These folks don't play by their hero, bro. I'm, I might want to go to Comic Con. Now these folks on me. He's like, bro, we seen you yeah, on smoking yeah, permitted. Yeah, yeah. We see you on smoking yeah, permitted, you know what, bro. You know what DC is? You got to be careful. <laughs> oh, never mind. That's how I Them strong. That's why I hand the whole bot so you can see. Them strong. Because it look like a new port for you get it. Then you be like, oh, shit. Take me out. Um, <laughs> do y'all y'all have a favorite night from one of y'all events, and and why was it your favorite? So one you, that happened. You on ten, yeah. Some some that happened. Whatever happened from one of those nights that you like this that one though. I ain't gonna lie. I enjoy all of them, even he like everyone did like. Even his, bro. Yeah. Every 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 event we done did done been epic in, in my eye for it being in our market and understanding the local scene. Yeah. To bring together the powerhouses, the the, <laughs> the dynamics of people that we put in the rooms and the fun that's just had when doing local anything the right way like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The impact of, like I said, we getting people that don't come outside like that for local events and stuff. You know, not because they don't support it, but just, you know, because they really like working and, and we we able to buy their time out. And then you getting these people to put and showcase their work, bro, and people just showing them love, bro, yeah. for one night. Whether That's they're a so producer, fun. whether they're an artist, the whole room is showing love, bro. Like, we we in them, in them producer wars... It's, it's like the warehouse, you feel me? We close and it's hot, you know what I'm saying? And, and people there through it all, bro, and ain't nobody complaining, nothing. Yeah. And it's love the whole night for everybody, bro. Like, 
when respect you, and everything is crazy, bro. You battling the producers? Uh, yeah, with the producers, him yeah. personally. No, 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 no man. No, they no, go. You know how you got to go up that ladder, <laughs> man. On more to come back and stuff. Okay, y'all, man. No, is this, is this, y'all, is this the, in the future? Is this part of y'all? I mean, I've, I've no way. Y'all's conversation because y'all be. I know oh, yeah, y'all. Did. Talk I forgot. About it. I forgot. My bad. The first battle I did do. We, well, we, what I got going on is the show did during the show did. wars. I usually do like a, a special one versus one where we kind of go live from the studio. Yeah. And get two producers in there to do a one versus one. So for the first one, I actually battled somebody else for the one versus one. So we I did battle then, but for just the actual episode. Yeah, no, nah, you did that just like kick it one. off. Yeah, hey, this is yeah, what we're gonna sure. do. Let me uh-huh. show you the concept. I'm talking about now shit going. Yeah, yeah, you for the jump going, in there no, and no, battle somebody. No, 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 Say what now? What what what, what was, was we reading? What was we reading, Bob? <laughs> Bob was reading. What that was? Bio. Who was reading the bio? He said it, that you had that you said you have a Waffle House jukebox style. What was that? What <laughs> Pull it up, Bob. Pull it up. I said I gotta ask him what that means. I forgot. What's a Waffle House jukebox style? Uh, oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. All right. So, okay. <laughs> oh, I, I get I what it means, though. Now nah, I get it, though. I get no, right. but but I've right. never heard so, it. Just I get so, what it means. I now. picture yeah. that in my mind put, like, immediately. Yeah. Like, I, like yeah. it put a picture in your mind of exactly what it is. Well, as soon yeah. as you yeah. say it. Yeah. Right. But right. so I ain't like, never heard no shit like that. About what that was. <laughs> six years ago, I think. Oh, we were working at a uh, Blue Magic Studio, and uh, WKRG came over and did a spotlight on it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying being a producer or whatnot, and the writer <laughs> wrote that up okay, like that. Then. Okay, so, so you ain't saying because this. no, okay. but because of the fact. All right, so he and he said it to me, and I kind of understood what he said because after he explained it, I was like, all right, that sounds kind of cool. Yeah. He told me to play some shit, so I t- I played him a lot of shit. So. You know, I I played on some of the country stuff I got, some of the rock stuff I got, R and B stuff, hip hop like stuff. Like the shit that'll be in the Waffle House Jukebox. And he was Rats. like, you know what I'm saying? He was switching styles so much, you know what I'm saying? It should remind <laughs> it me was of like, a, Waffle yeah, House Jukebox. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. everything that's is in there. That's what he wrote in the article. And I think <laughs> when my assistant redid my bio, she told me to send her that article. And I think she found that caption and thought it was kind of catchy and funny and she it, 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 it was yeah. So, yeah. cause the, cause the article yeah. talk about all the different genres right. of music you right. work with right. all the yeah. different stuff yeah. that yeah. you've done so and I think it say that's everything that's kinda, yeah, hey I told y'all that boy <laughs> yeah. that boy yeah. naming yeah. my phone Mr. Miyagi yeah, okay. That's, that's how it's kind of summed up. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's where that came from. But Man. No, I, I didn't like say, that. I, I didn't heard that before. before. The picture uh, in my head, it instantly I knew exactly what, but I, I, yeah, I ain't never heard that some before. Boys, that was, some men in here, some some Metallica in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Known to ride in this bitch. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. For sure. Definitely heavy on the versatility side. Man. What's that's the, what's, up. what's the word I learned today? Let me put it in my notes. Haberdashery. Haberdashery. <laughs> Haberdashery. I don't know how I heard that, but I've definitely yeah, heard Haberdashery. It is a suit shop. Yeah. Well, I'll ask a question. a custom suit shop. Mm-hmm. Check this out. Yeah. Yeah. We ask, we ask, we forget to ask this one. It's possible. You get one wish. One tangible thing. Anything in the world, but it's got to be something like you can manifest something that could, that's there for real. In order to get this, one random person, somebody's gonna die. They gone. Somebody you cross paths with. Somebody that you've person. encountered in your life at some point in we time, in some way, is. shape, or form. If you don't, you're the only one here. Everybody dies, die. except for you. <laughs> So you hear by yourself. Everybody goes. There. So you don't gotta kill nobody, but you gonna be lonely. What, what's baby song? Lonely, 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 lonely baby. baby. Okay. You said what? Well, make a wish for something? Yeah, you, yeah. something? Yeah, you you get something, but it's you have gotta to be decide. Something you have to choose something. Like it can't be magic and shit. Like, you have to choose something you're receiving in turn for this death, or you just have to be on the world by yourself. It's a fucked up question. <laughs> I bet I'm quick with it. What you want? 
anything. What what were some examples? We had one person that desired a field to frolic in. Somebody wanted a field. We had somebody that took over Equifax. Was it yeah. Equifax? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Equifax. Equifax. Um, we had somebody that wanted a boat, but they didn't specify what type of boat. So instead of a yacht or a cruise ship, they were in a rowboat or yeah. something like that. Be specific with what you want. Yeah. You gotta gotta actually want it now. As you, as you, you gotta know, <laughs> with the superpowers, I'll fuck something up. Man. <laughs> so you gotta be so so red is you can't Get a superpower? No, no superpower. You, you can't wish for all the buddies. Like, no yeah, we passed. Powers. This is something real. It has to be something real. Oh, yeah. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Oh. I would definitely. Yeah, yeah. Some random person. Yeah, definitely gone. Yeah, they gone. Yeah, I would acquire Jeff Bezos' assets. Okay. Then. All right. All right. Hostile takeover. I like it. How you gonna get the boat past the bridge? No, that's a different story. Yeah, yeah, we'll just add the boat so, probably wouldn't move. It just, yeah, it's it's just a house it, it, on the water. Right. Yeah. Oh no, the boat. Yeah, that'd be instantly sold to somebody else, and we'll just. Hey, yeah, we'll just walk, it's your boat. We'll it's walk your problem, the money man. over the bridge. Yeah, you know, okay. Right. But yeah, yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah. random person, Jeff Bezos assets. Twenty-three year old lady jogging dead as hell. Just dropped. Damn. You remember <coughs> he was looking in the window at the hospital with all them babies? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just what? I was saving the baby for whatever he had. <laughs> um, yeah, you finna kill the baby just so you know. <laughs> wow, 23 year old woman <laughs> just dropped. All right. Um, that's, 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 uh, y'all. All right. But, yeah, so I got. got Any rapist doing 15, between 5 and 15 years, they will have to go. Um, what, are you just killing people? Yeah, I'm nah, saying. Listen, nah, you can't just no, kill you don't a bunch get to, of people. No. Yeah. You have to, you, you get, get something. ownership of something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know what y'all saying. Somebody had to die, though. No, you don't, don't pick, pick the, the random person oh, You don't pick the death. It's a baby. It's the baby yeah, in the we Nikki. Just saw it. I thought I picked the person. <laughs> it's a baby. I'm about to say that. Baby ain't raped nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you get? What you get with this baby that's gone? <laughs> Hold on. Y'all he, said. He did not understand. Y'all said every, everybody die or or I just be left here by myself. No. Yeah. The baby die and it's you get something. Time. If uh, the baby don't die, everybody die and you here by yourself. Oh, the baby don't die, everybody die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know what I It's a fucked up question. Really fucked up. It's fucked up. You're right. Yeah, You're right. Bad. It's fucked up. What you getting for okay. this baby? I'm 23 right. year old woman. That was good. Yeah. She gone. So, Her dog just sitting there licking her. Man, so, okay. She ain't damn. moving. Damn, that's fucked up. I don't up, want bro. nothing. I don't, want, I don't think I want nothing. So everybody, everybody <laughs> dead? Yeah. Everybody you on Earth alone? Yeah, I'm gonna just kill myself. Ah, let's do the end of Earth. You ain't say I could kill ain't myself. You man, <laughs> you ain't say I could kill myself. I mean, you can, but you ain't ever. I'm out. <laughs> you could have just picked something. I did. Go, on, we all back. He won. Hey, he won. hey Lord, we back. He won the game. I ain't won Lord, <laughs> hey Lord, we back. I ain't won. <laughs> Open the floodgates. <laughs> That's what he said, ain't it? I get the preacher to hear. Okay. Right. Oh, we back to you. We all Bro, coming back. Hey, the scientists have to explain this extinction. Yeah, man. Poof. Oh, man. That's fucked up. Hey, oh, get shit. what? He's the first like one. He's the first one ever. He's the crazy. Hey, yeah, yeah. if everybody go, and then I just go, man. Shit, oh, that, that Jeff Bezos shit don't mean that's nothing. That's some shit man. I do. Right? I'll probably spend me a couple more hours getting me one off. Then, <laughs> right? That's fucked up. I'm not. Kill, yeah. Like, yeah, this is one. Yeah. All right, time yeah. to go. <laughs> I guess it's time to go. Right. Just tell them, yeah, tell the people where to find y'all at again. Man, hey, song for song music. Same. That's S O N G. The number four S O N G music. That's on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, Dre make plays. D R E M A K E P L A Y S. Man. Dre make plays. If y'all in Huntsville today, you know, whenever, you know, we in up here for Sound on the Hill week. So just shout out to them, man. Hey, hey shout, shout out to Sound, Sound on the Hill. Wheel. Yeah, this ain't gonna, it's gonna be a while for, yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, definitely going down, man. Oh, Studio House R-E-C. 
uh, shout out to Studio House Recordings, Studio House R E C, uh, Ron G Pro, on everything else R O N G P R O, Studio House R E C, spelled like it is. Uh, y'all tap in, man. Yeah, yeah. I really appreciate, appreciate y'all, y'all, man. y'all joining us. For sure, been another man. special sessions. Y'all know what it is. Click on another one. Like, share, subscribe, all that. Go follow these guys. Y'all them. Fuck with us next time. Fuck with us every time. Fuck That's with us reference. last time. I'm Bob Jacquez. Peace. I'll let you. Oh, shit.